for joining us. Developing tonight, it was designed to steer young people away from gun violence, but the weekend boxing match ended in gunfire itself. One man is dead, four others are recovering tonight in St. Pete. And today, the organizer of that neighborhood boxing league is speaking out as police ask for help with their investigation. Fox 13's Dan Maddox reports from police headquarters. A boxing match that organizers say was designed to stop gun violence ended in gunfire Saturday night. The fight was already in conclusion and uh, getting ready to make the announcement of who was the winner. And there, there came a bang, 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 bang. When it was over, one person was dead and four others injured. St. Pete police arrested 21-year-old Robert Lee Cooley. He's facing charges for his involvement in that shootout that happened after the boxing match behind the Skyway Plaza on 62nd Avenue South. 21-year-old Trayvon Montel Barton was killed, and the other four people are still recovering from their injuries. Police think there are several people responsible, but finding them in a crowd of more than 200 people is a challenge for detectives. There were a lot of people there, and we do believe that more than one gun was fired. The event was organized by the Neighborhood Boxing League. The organizer says they've been holding the boxing matches in the Bay Area since March. Pastor Elvis Pigott, spokesperson for the Neighborhood Boxing League, says the matches are meant to bring people together and prevent gun violence. While this was a wake-up call at an anti-gun event, here come guns involved. It will not deter the effort. It will not deter the young man that is simply going to continue to describe. Detectives say the Neighborhood Boxing League did not have a permit, but it's not clear if they needed one. It depends. We're still trying to work with codes compliance to figure that out. Because there were so many people there. Police are really hoping people who recorded video on their cell phones will come forward. You know something, say something. We want these people apprehended. In St. Pete, Dan Maddox, Fox 13 News.